out this morning to do some of that shopping. Make sure you bundle up. You might need to head outside, warm your car up. Uh, this is the view out in Fishers. You can see our flag waving in the wind. We have some breezy conditions at this time with those winds that are out of the northwest, bringing in a much colder air mass. So actual air temperatures now are in those mid to upper 20s. They're running more than 20 degrees below where we started off Thanksgiving Day morning. And we have wind chill temperatures that are some of the lowest I've seen so far this season. Feeling like 11 out there in Indianapolis, 10 in Lafayette, feeling like it's only 17 in Bloomington. While our Guardian radar is dry, that is some good news for you. We're seeing a few fl flurries off in northeastern Indiana. We're going to see some sunshine into the afternoon as those clouds move on out, but that's not going to do a whole lot to help those temperatures because of those northwesterly winds. We'll only rebound into those mid 30s, so still well below average for this time of year. And with those temperatures in the mid 30s, it's still going to feel, I'd say, about five to six degrees cooler than that with those wind chill temperatures, too. If you're heading out to Chris Kendall Mark tonight, it's going to be a beautiful evening for it. Other than the chill, we're going to stay dry. Any festivities you have for tonight, if they are outdoors, again, it's just going to involve those winter layers as opposed to any rain gear. CBS 4 Future View, let's hop ahead into tomorrow morning. So we're dry today. We'll start to see more clouds by early Saturday morning. And overall, Saturday is going to be a cloudier day with some rain chances as we get into the afternoon. Now, it's not a whole lot. This is is four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and we're really just looking at some widely scattered light rain in the area, and that'll continue off and on through the evening as well. Now, as we start to mix down some colder air once again into early Sunday morning, while it's not showing it here on CBS for future view, I wouldn't completely rule out a few flurries by this time too. the weekend. Not too bad against just some rain around on Saturday will not completely ruin any of your plans. Temperatures warmer though, mid forties, and then those flurries sad Sunday morning and temperatures into the lower 40s for those highs. I do have much warmer conditions as we head into late next week, but we have to wait for them. So we'll take Sunday at 40 degrees, repeat that on Monday, but bring back some sunshine. By Tuesday, we're near 50 degrees, but by Thursday, we could see those temperatures rising into those mid and upper 50s. Angela? And that's the news I like to hear, Krista. Thank you. The Defense Department is launching a new U.S.